wanted to show you guys what it's like to um, self-inject the Dupixin, which is for the skin discoloration and the hyperpigmentation and the slight eczema that I experienced as a result of my PCOS. And then also I did mention earlier this month that I am going through the process of um, Ozempic aka semaglutide uh, for weight loss and that also is um, prescribed to me as a result of having PCOS it's kind of difficult for me to lose weight so yeah I just wanted you guys to walk through the process with me and I wanted to show you guys how it's done and how it's going as well okay first things first um, since I am bareface I'm gonna show you guys what it kind of looks like after um, I've had a skin peel so this is I would say on a scale of one to 10, my skin is doing about a seven right now and it doesn't usually look like this, but eventually you will get to see what it looks like um, if I'm not consistently having my skin peels and um, seeing my esthetician regularly. Shout out to Mimi, she's the best. But this is kind of what it looks like right now in the process of um, going through a chemical peel just to maintain just some type of even skin uh, during uh, months of uh, inflammation with my hyperpigmentation, once again, due to PCOS symptoms. Sorry, I had to pause for a second to um, put some eye drops in. Dupixin does cause dry eye. Um, that's one of the side effects. Um, but have no worries, your dermatologist will prescribe you um, a prescription for the dry eyes, so you don't have to worry about that. So this is what it looks like, and it is something that you can only um, be prescribed with from your dermatologist. And um, depending on how severe your symptoms are, your dermatologist will suggest the um, level of frequency you take the Dupixin. But this is kind of what it looks like. It's like a click pen, three click pen. And you'll get to see how I inject this so that I can have great skin. And then I feel I should mention as well, um, for safekeeping, it needs to be uh, refrigerated at about 36 to 46 uh, Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit. So um, you, know, you have to keep it in the refrigerator and it's also going to feel a lot better once you let it cool down out of the refrigerator. So um, that's a tip if you are new to the Dupixin shot. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about it. So Dupixin is a prescription medication that is used to treat several inflammatory conditions. Some of the most common uses for Dupixin include um, moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, eczema in adults and children six months and older, moderate to severe asthma in adults and children who are at least six years old, and then uh, chronic sinus inflammation with nasal polyps in adults. Okay, here we go. Now, um, for hygienic purposes, obviously, you want to sanitize the area with um, alcohol wipes and then obviously bandage the area afterwards. So, now I'm going to be very transparent. This is painful, but um, it's really quick. It's a uh, like a th three to five second process that you get, you get used to because... You know, at the end of the day, PCOS comes with so much little symptoms here and there. And then once you are kind of accustomed to come getting your body adjusted to the things that it needs to be regulated, it's easy after that. Whew, alrighty. One second. <laughs> I'm sorry, I never get used to this. I have to get my mind together before I... Ooh. It's a little painful as mentioned. So you wanna grab a little bit of the skin and listen closely for the three clicks. And once that third click goes off, then you remove. Here we go. but it's easy knowing that I am treating 
all of my PCOS symptoms related to um, atopic dermatitis the correct way and the healthiest way possible. Whew. Yeah. Okay, so next up is the semi or semi glutide. And this is what my medication um, looks like. It is self-administered through the use of a needle. And um, I'm gonna kind of tell you a little bit about it and how it helps with the PCOS. My notes are down here because I wanna make sure I don't miss out on any important notes that may be helpful for you. So semaglutide, which is the active ingredient in medications like Ozempic, has shown promise in treating polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is what I or maybe you or someone you know has um, through various mechanisms. And they are including insulin regulation, hormone balancing, menstrual regularity, weight management, um, as well as, actually, that was the last tip. However, how it helps with insulin regulation, which is one of the number one uh, symptoms of having PCOS is, um, it improves the insulin sensitivity and reduces the production of glucose in the liver. Now, how I got approved uh, for Ozempic slash semaglutide is I previously um, was prescribed metformin for my insulin resistance. And I just mentioned that I think I would prefer to try something else. Now you have to um, be referred and approved uh, for uh, this this uh, treatment. Um, before being prescribed uh, the semaglutide, I had to um, undergo um, a series of blood tests to just check my levels and to see if it would agree with my body, first of all, that's most important. And then also to see if that insulin resistance was at a high enough level for me to even be treated with semaglutide. Now, um, uh, because I was already on metformin, that kind of put me one step ahead um, of the process. And so I was automatically approved and recommended this by my OBGYN. And, um, I will say that it has helped tremendously um, with the weight loss. It has only been a month for me and I have lost 10 pounds thus far. Okay, here we go again. Now this 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 one is much easier. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel anything when I administer this one. I will show you how it's done. Obviously, you would want to sanitize the area. Now, when you receive your, your semaglutide, obviously your doctor will let you know what levels you will be at each week. Um, it does increase per week until you go in for that initial checkup, and then it is determined which level is best for you and your weight loss um, journey. Right now, I am on 20 milligrams so far, I believe. And I need to, as a matter of fact, I need to double check because I am supposed to be on 20 milligrams for the next four weeks. This is week, I think this is week two. I gotta check, one second. So I checked and it is 20. I'm still on 20 until April 23rd. So yeah, this one is really easy. Um, it's, it's, it depends on your pain threshold, but as for me, and honestly, I think the Dupixin shot has prepared me for um, a level of pain um, in any needle at this point because the Dupixin shot is a little bit, um, it's a, a bit bigger. This one is a little smaller, so here we go. Mm. And just like that. for safekeeping you want to cover that back up and dispose of this uh, of course okay so we've talked about the shots um, we've talked about how they are administered we've talked about how um, they help with certain PCOS symptoms so I've told you about the shots um, I've told you about some of the 
side effects that they treat and um, obviously I will keep you posted on my progress on these shots um, which is all great thus far and um, yeah just aiming to be completely transparent through this process remember it gets better um, it is definitely something that I have made easy uh, because uh, these little symptoms here and there, you can tend to ignore them because some of them aren't severe, but you know, obviously um, as you go through life and you realize, you know, something, I could just change my eating habits or I can change my regimen in order to improve some of these symptoms. And that's where I'm at. Take care. Mm -hmm.